Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to add columns to a Word document in Word 2016 and Word 2013. I'll also show you a workaround in Word Online. So let's start in Word 2016 and these steps will be the exact same for Word 2013. I'd recommend for this tip that you show the ruler on your document because it makes it a lot easier to follow the customizations that you're making to the layout. So to add columns, go to the Page Layout tab, and you'll notice this Columns button in the ribbon. When you click two, three, or more, you can see that the ruler changes, but there's not really an easy way to start typing in the first column and then continue typing in the second column, for example. So what I would recommend is, uh, let's switch back to one column. I'm going to add some text to my page. Now select the text that you want to appear across multiple columns, go back to that button, and click the number of columns that you want. So you can see now that two columns were added, and if I add more text, it continues on to the second column. Now I can select all the text again, and click three columns, and we can take a look at how that distributes the text across all the columns. Now if you don't want that middle line to appear, go back to your Columns tab, click More Columns, and uncheck the Line Between box. I kept it checked just for the purposes of demonstration. From here you can also change the number of columns and also change the width and spacing. You can even make the columns an unequal width if you'd like, and click OK. Now let's say that I don't want my page to include columns anymore, I'll add a new line. I've still got three columns, as you can see in the ruler here. I need to actually add some text and select it, otherwise it's going to change the entire document. Go back to Columns, select One, and now you can see that my ruler changed to be one column here, but up on the first page I still have three columns. Now in Word Online, unfortunately when you go to the Page Layout tab, there's no option for adding columns to your page. The only workaround I could come up with, unfortunately, is to insert a table, change the table style to be as neutral as possible, and add your text in two columns that way. Not a great workaround, but it does have similar effect. You just can't have as many customizations as you can have in Word 2013 or Word 2016. Hope that tip helped. For more tips and tricks like this one in Office 365, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.